Hi there, thanks for clicking on this video. Before we continue, I want to start with a question. Where do you think this is or where do you think it's located? This is Navrungo in the Upper East region of Ghana, West Africa. I'm sure you've never heard of Navrungo or even if you have, I'm sure you didn't know it's a town with so much prospects and so much beauty. Come along with me as we explore the town together, try some fruits, and so much more. My name is Gloria Kamen, and welcome to my channel. Hi guys, it's me again, Gloria Kamen, and I got a follower here who texted me and said he's interested in seeing Navrongo, and he's also a small YouTuber. Please go do well to check out his channel. I'll link it somewhere and we are just going around Navrongo to explore the town so I hope you enjoy this video JJ and I were on a mission to find all the street food we could find that day definitely that meant exploring the town in the process How are we now? Uh, this is the main Navrongo town so basically the life of the city yeah. There were two types of ice kinky, light and thick. Light is most commonly found in Navrongo. So I'm getting the light. But what is this made of though? Kinky. Is, oh, okay. Ice kinky. But I think they use more of the water. Or, yeah. uh -huh, more of the water. Okay. So this one is very common. In Accra you don't find a lot of this, but it's very common in the north. So it's like a drink. You have to pull it. I mean, why don't you fight? No, because it will spill. It's nicer to pull. It's just fun. <laughs> it's actually like juice. Question. It's actually kinky water. Question though, preferred lighter or thicker? For me, I think I don't like ice cream because it's thick. So I'll prefer it like oh, okay. The ice cream she already started taking hairs. Um, hairs is a lighter version. I think it's more, more liquidy than the one I got. And it's only like twice the price. So one CD more than the other one. So let's see how it is. Okay, okay. Mm. 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 Here it goes. So you won't buy yam to go to TV phone My daughter, don't talk like that today. You see that the phone is going to come and hide the yam. Yeah, the phone is going to come. You know why I'll buy it, but I'll come to your house. I didn't carry yam to your house. So where? I walk in the hole. If you don't pay the school fees, you can't speak to me. Uh, buy you pay by uh, buy, yeah, buy, yeah. You Let me walk around, otherwise I can't carry. Me, I carry, come and give you. <laughs> you carry, carry, yeah. Then you are coming. I'll buy, don't worry. Okay, you know my name. Uh, my name is what? They told me. They told me. They told me. They told me. Oh, you never, you never. Don't talk, don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't Old man, she just waved. She said that he used to fix her bike, right? Yeah, my bike. So you bike? Yeah, bike. Bicycle, not, not motorbike. <laughs> That's a bummer because I realize that a lot of the women here in the north actually have motorbikes. In fact, goes one right there. Like every single woman, I mean not every single woman, but most women in the north actually ride bikes. Uh, I'm coming. I didn't know you are still here. 
It was time for our next meal, which was roasted corn. You normally find it on the streets just like this, and it's so tasty. You definitely need to try this if you come and if you not try this. As you said, it's everywhere. You can't really come to our país to an if you've not tried me. So. <laughs> But it's so soft, so it's so good. Yeah. This is soft, this is good. I think I'm gonna finish this one. Yeah, we should get two. No, no, one is enough. Like, no, so let's break it. So guys, yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna split to share it into two. Equally, else we'll fight. Exactly. And yeah. Mm. So after walking for quite a while, we decided to enter the market. It wasn't a market day, so that's why most of the stalls were empty. But I know some of the street food is normally found there. So just come along with us as you find out what we discovered. <laughs> You don't get food here. You just see proper market. However, I think there's a cozy seller up there. Cozy seller up there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can try that. Okay. You okay. burn, boil it. Okay, if you boil it, you can fresh. If no. you use this for stew, it's more than the tomatoes. This Very one? Nice. The dry pepper. Mm. Mm. The dry tomatoes. So when you Wait, which it, one is dried tomatoes? Which one is dry pepper? This, this is dried tomatoes. tomatoes. This is tomatoes? No, no pepper. 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 This is tomatoes. It looks so small though. Yeah, because, because they dry it. Mm. Is that like a northern thing to do? Yeah, so that's what she was explaining. If you, if you prefer, you use it to prepare stew. It's like thin tomatoes. Mm. Not, there's no water in it. Yeah. Again, so it's very sweet. So when you get it like this, what do you do? You, you go and boil it. You boil. You boil and grind. And grind. And if you have this in blender, too, you can blend mm -hmm. it. It will be nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. right, come nice. to market so I'll try it. Mm -hmm. You try it. You like not, it more than the fresh one. The fresh one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like I said. But well, there's no nope. water in it. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. I understand. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you understand? Yeah. Like I said, Navro Queen, everybody knows her. <laughs> so, who don't you know, really? Oh, wow, look at what we have here. We saw this very pretty baskets that range from about 20 to 65 CDs. However, I wasn't ready to purchase any, but I would definitely be coming back. We needed to see where all those white particles were coming from, and this is it. Casually walking past um, TZ Flower, that's like one of the like, that's one of the most, um, how do you say it? TZ is one of the most loved foods in the north. I love TZ, even in Accra, I like to eat TZ. But this is my first time seeing TZ Flower. TZ Wait, what food is that? Bambara beans. Come see. Bambara beans. Wait, that's a lot. Just take a little. She said she only sells three cities. I was asking for two bags. Wow. But we we'll share it. <laughs> we'll tie the rest home. Mm. 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 Wait, what's that? Oil. 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 Mm. And what was the first one? Mm. Pepper. Pepper. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wait, you're putting pepper on the beams. 
Wait, I thought Bambara beans was eating with sugar. That's please, we don't do that here. <laughs> You're kidding, right? The next food we are trying. She's really selling me. I don't know. I don't she know. She was asking me what you said. Why I was telling you we don't do that. So I was telling her you said um, Bambara beans is eating with sugar. Wait, 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 wait a second. So we put pepper and oil on it, nothing else. No. So mostly it's sold with rice. Is this sweet? She have rice. She has corn. We are trying. <laughs> it's like you don't understand try <laughs> i don't know beans and pepper and oil <laughs> like it, it, it will be nice it's just going to make the how are we going to try it though in the bag because so i'm actually thinking we'll go and then we'll get somewhere to sit because we need to wash our hands and... okay all right cool we'll try this one when we get somewhere more comfortable yeah There's this nice way they do it. I don't know, it's very light and very spicy and tasty. Okay. So, so then I'll put it. What does that mean? Please. So, so is please. Then I'll put it. We want to put it. Oh, okay. Uh, the driver has two ones. Then I'll put the person in it. Wait, what's that? Oh my god. You people put pepper on everything. Yes. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> You finished frying the kusi already? Because it's so nice. I know. I, I, want I, thought, I thought we weren't supposed to be satisfied. I don't care. I thought we were just, didn't you just tell me I don't know what try means? And there you are. Like, I'm trying I, and indulging. Yeah, right. <laughs> Come have it. Come try. Mm. Oh my god. This guy likes food. <laughs> <laughs> See, take this one, I'm thinking the rest. Uh, what? Gloria, you're cheating me. Anyway, this is what I get. I'm gonna try it. Moral of the story don't go out to buy food with Gloria. This is what you get. And she's literally killing the whole bag. Wait, this tastes a little different. Right? How do you like it? I'm interested in well, it. It's, it's, I think it's finer. Yeah. Like, the one in the upper. You see, it feels heavy. And yeah, and it's like it, So I don't really like kosher. Like, yeah, I don't is, know what they do to this. This is. When they start sit down while they're frying. Yeah. But this is this is amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. like really fine. It's not it's not coarse. It's not like rough. But the taste is pretty much the same. It just feels different in your tongue. And the pepper, like they put pepper on everything out here. Really. It's not pepper. Well, you told me what pepper. We call it pepper, but it's called yazi. So it's grounded pepper, grounded um, grounded pepper, salt, grounded kuli kuli. So you realize it's not as hot. We know kuli kuli. It's ground as something made from Ghana flour. Are we gonna get some today? We can find some. It's really been our common these days. Westernization, sad. But you see, it's not that hot. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Good, I love it. I'm being a good person and I'm giving him one more, so I tried. There you go. Nice, I'll take it. We're going back into the market. Well, no, up on second floor. It's taking me to try full okay. right. Unfortunately, they are not here. We are going to try another local drink called Furo Furo. So, Furo Furo. Furo Furo. Yes, F O R O. Double. Furo Furo. Okay. Uh, is it anything like the Fura? No. So, the same mixture that is boiled to make Hausa Coco. This time you just add water and put it in the fridge. Oh. So, 
it's a cold drink of how's that cocoa with no starch because it's not boiled. Go into a pharmacy to try and get street food. But Gloria, she knows everywhere. So she told me that she doesn't have some, but she's going to make some specially for me because I'm a regular customer. She when I came, she gave me like three extra when I got five. In the middle of it all, we found a street named after JJ's cousin. Yes, JJ's cousin is the chief, guys. Isn't the internet crazy? There's uh, a nice chest there. We are just going to walk up there and see if we can find some I should check again. So guys, we go here and I was told because people are not buying it often, they don't make it in large quantities. So we are going to the station because people are coming, people are going. Hopefully we get some there. If not, it's a bummer. Hopefully they are still available because on Saturdays most people go for free now. And I already saw a lot of people going. So hopefully our Pito seller is not one of those. But then maybe there will be someone selling it tomorrow. Is it like a thing? You have to greet everybody everywhere you go. Yes, I think so. Because you are passing by, they know you are friendly. Otherwise, it's like you're just going to their territory. You don't even respect. And later, you want to come for their help. So, yeah, you greet everyone. Only Casa. Or Bunny Film. The little girl is the one who sells it for us. She's the one going to sell the pito. Wait, for us. this is the pito joint? Yes. They don't sell it for us in the calabashes. Calabashes, okay. What's up? I don't know. Uh, I have to put so uh, drop in my bag. <laughs> How much are we buying? Two CDs. Bag. A la calabashi. This whole thing is two CDs. This whole bottle. Yeah. Of pito. Yeah. Is it alcoholic? No, this is sweet. So there's just like sugar. So when the sugar ferments. Then it creates alcohol. Wait, what's it made of though? Guinea corn. Why yeah. don't we ask the maker? Come. Corn. Just corn. No guinea corn. Guinea corn. Guinea corn and corn. Or only corn. Corn. Okay. Okay. So, so we are splitting this. I'm giving the small one. As usual. Typical. Trying pito for the first time. This is sweet pito. This is Gloria's pot. This is Gloria's ghetto. Is it not? <laughs> yeah, it's one of the places. Why is it ghetto like I come here all the time? I don't know. Like... Nobody who just came to Nairobi can casually find this. Let's. Seem alcoholic. No. The funniest thing has happened right now. So <laughs> yeah, we've been sitting here for a while, like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, like just trying to take a rest and then continue uh food and a rungo tour. And we just realized that the first thing well not the first thing but the beans we bought with the pepper and the oil. Pepper and oil, like pepper and pepper and everything. Yeah, the beans we bought with the pepper and oil, we do not know where we left it. Now we found a pork seller. Yes, it was time to buy some meat. What meat is this? Pork. Pork. Yeah, wow. Pork. Why doesn't it look reddish? But it's cooked well. Ah. Hello. Hello. This is really, really soft. 
the meat over here just looked so tasty so fresh we just couldn't wait to devour we bought about 20 cds worth which is just two dollars and it was a whole lot since we lost our bambara beams uh we got the meat and we were going home but we found another one wait is that not the same seller no because the first seller was selling like a similar thing no she had the same kind of container but it's a different seller okay so okay <laughs> Oh, for how much? Three series. Three series. <laughs> so, guys, we just got bambara beans and jollof. And we're going to try this when we get home. You don't know? I don't know. Let's do that. You told me? Okay, so we have our little setup right here. Uh, we're gonna try the foods we bought. I mean, trying for me. These people that live here on this food. With the meat. Why don't we start with the jollof and the bambara beans? I'm going to open everything. You're going to mix everything? I'm going to open everything. All right. But we need to wash our hands. Do we? We are going to eat are you going to wash? Hands. Do you wash your hands when yes. you're eating street food? Yes. Soap. So guys, we got to this point and we're about to eat with our hands and JJ is like, he needs a spoon because he eats even teasers with a spoon. My friend, will you better put your hand in this food? Jeez. So look, mm. see these fingers? Mm -hmm. See the way it is? Uh-huh. Do like this. Uh huh. See? Nah. Okay. Uh. The pepper is what makes the difference. Moment of truth, guys. Bambara beans, pepper, and rice. Like I said, Gloria and her people put pepper in everything, really. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Gloria is forcing me to eat in my hand, so here goes. Oh, I'm terrible at this. You see, I'm spilling the food everywhere. Masa, masa. Oh no. Alright, enjoy the rest of your food. This is good. We, we already started with this, so and we have the meat right here. We have the meat right here. From here, we're coming here. And uh, Sadiq, what's this one? Yes. Yeah. Oh, who is this for? It's for us. It's for us. Uh, okay. Apparently, it's a feast. And this is not. <laughs> and if you've been to Ghana, you already know this. Fine, you guys. You can find this everywhere in Ghana. So, guys, eventually we could only get the pork, and on our way, we found the bambara beans. We are finally having it, and it was really, really delicious. You saw JJ, right? And there's so much pork to devour. This is going to be the end of our street food vlog because Charlie for today enjoy everything. the end for today okay <laughs> JJ says that'll be the end for today so we are going to have more some other time see ya don't forget to like and subscribe share this video let me know which of the foods you are interested in trying and if you have any in your town let me also know in the comment section if you have any questions leave them there from now it's Bye!